Yan siyang, I'm exhausted from the wedding today. Dad! Mom! It's you. Why? Why are you doing this to me? You just got married in the daytime. It's been 10 years. I know I've been with you for 10 years. Do you know why? I did it to get your family's fortune. But now we're married. You are no longer useful. You can go to hell. Kuyan Shang, after all of these years, have you ever loved me? Love? You know what? Your sister Ansha is a hundred times more charming in bed than you. But you are as cold and hard as a corpse. Guyanshan, you bastard! How dare you cheat on me with Anjo? No, no. Don't you love me? Then you should die for us. Guyanshan, I married you at 22 years old. In order to help you become a member of the prestigious family, I gave up my life and I tempered my strength to do my duty as a wife. I still cannot believe you killed me with your own hands. Do you take the destruction of the Ag family as a bright price for your beloved? If I could have a next life, I will make you pay the debts of blood in blood. Nana, are you okay? Didn't I die? I thought I was dead. How did those guys thrive? Have I been reborn? Get off! How did you thrive? Do you know how to drive? Do you have a license? You almost rear-ended me. Do you know that? I know. I advise you not to marry Gu Yansheng. He's not an ass person. Do you dare to take the bride from wedding? What? Miss Yang, do you have a crush on me? Yes. Nan Nan, did you hit your head? Hitting why? I said I have a crush on you. I'm getting married on the 18th of next month. Do you dare to come and take me from the wedding? Do you dare to come and take me from the wedding? Miss Yang, I suggest you go to the hospital and have your brain checked. I'll pay for it. Feel free to spend it with this card. On the day of the wedding, if you dare to come, I'll go with you. I'll take this card as the bride price. TG, let's go. Miss An. The one all the men in Qingcheng City dream of marrying. You're really interesting. Nan Nan, you are just kidding, right? How can you let the famous comeback man in Qingcheng City, Ye Jinghuai, to rob you from your wedding? I'm not joking. Then what about Kuyangsheng? You're the model couple of the whole country. You don't know how many people admire you too. And now you, you're going to cheat on your husband before marriage. What do you take Yangsheng for? I treat Kuyangsheng as beast. Hmm. 
暖暖。Did you have a good time today, Nana? Did you have a good time today? Do you have something to say, Nana? Are you tired? I'm fine. I need to get you a business talisman. Did you ask for a talisman of a baby for us? In my last life, you fed me the contraceptive pills for ten years, and are you pretending to want a baby talisman? <laughs> Early this morning, Chichi and I went to the mountain. I'm a bit tired. Okay, that's it. I'm hanging up now. Nuan Nuan, I think you're stressed today. Do you have something to hide from me? Oh, I know it. I know that the feng shui of Lai Mountain is weird. It's very sinister. You're not being haunted by something, are you? I cannot explain it to her. In a moment, I'd rather not to tell her about the rebirth now, so she won't worry. It's okay, no worries. All right then. If anything happens, you must tell me. You cannot hide it from me. I have a Pilates class later. I gotta go. Bye. Chichi, ah.、Uh-huh. Chichi, thank you. Thank God you didn't die. Chichi, thank you. Thank God you didn't die. Nuan Nuan, you're still in shock from the accident, aren't you? <laughs> Don't worry. A scoundrel like me will survive for a thousand years. Just a small car accident. How could it kill me? Let's go. Thank goodness, nothing has happened yet. There is still time to fix it. Chichi, I'll protect you this time. Dad, Mom, Nuan Nuan, didn't you go to pray for Yan Shen? Why did you buy so many things? Why are your eyes so red? Maybe it's from the incense today. Let me take a look. It's okay, Mom. By the way. The Gu family called today and said that they want to meet us to talk about the details of the wedding for you and Yansheng. Dad, Mom, I'll break off the marriage with Gu Yansheng. What? You and Yansheng had a fight? Dad, Gu Yansheng is not a good person. His purpose in marrying me was just to get the An family's property. He treated the An family as his stepping stone. Nuan Nuan, is there any misunderstanding? Dad, Mom, I know it's hard for you to believe me now, but give me some time. I'll find the proof. Although this marriage was your grandfather's decision, but you two have grown up together. We've all seen your relationship. It has always been good. Now, Mom, why on earth would you suddenly want to break off the marriage? Dad, Mom. I know it's hard for you to believe me now, but give me some time. I'll find the evidence. I also know that a marriage alliance with the Ku family can bring great benefits. But even so, I'll insist on breaking of the marriage. You're my daughter. Of course, I trust you. But to withdraw from the marriage now will bring a huge negative impact on both our families in the future. How can the An family survive in Qing City? No, it won't. Canceling the marriage will only make the Ku family bear all the consequences. It's only the Ku family that will be humiliated at the wedding next month. In this life, I don't know if it's good or bad to work with Ye Jinghui. In that case, let me see how sincere Ye Jinghui is. Hello. This is Junhong Shopping Center. Can I just pay by the card with my card number? May I ask, are you using a co-branded card from our mall? I don't know. Would you mind telling me the card number? I'll check it for you. Eight 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 eight. This card is our super VIP card. You can use it as you like, and there's no spending limit. Anything you need to buy, we can provide you with video shopping and deliver it to your place. Wow, that's quite a privilege. 
I don't need the video shopping, I'll give you a list. Once you've bought it, just send it directly to my home. The address is Nanling Bay Villa Community. Why? Your phone keeps ringing. Which woman did you give the card to? Your card is almost maxed out, isn't it? Yo, 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 why? You're so generous to women. The point is, you haven't even touched her like before, right? To your own wife, you need to be generous. What did you say? I said I'm getting married. Are you drunk? You don't have much time left. Prepare the money for my wedding gift. Where are you going, Mr. Ye? Get out. Who is bothering me with a phone call in the middle of the night? Hello? Uh, no, I'm, I'm downstairs. Come down. Miss An, if I remember correctly, I only offered to pay for your medical expenses. But I remember that I also told Mr. Ye I'll take that card as a bridal gift. So Miss An, you ruthlessly swept the 30 mini yuan from me. I just take that card as a bridal gift. So Miss An, you ruthlessly swept the 30 mini yuan from me. Is it that much? I was just shopping casually. Don't worry, this 30 million yuan, I won't let you spend it for nothing. What do you mean? You help me take down the Ku family, I'll help you remove the obstacles on your way to the aristocratic family. Misa, you're not awake. Don't play dumb, I knew you better than you thought. You know me so well. Then would I be at a disadvantage? No, you should be glad I chose you instead of Kuyangsheng. In the previous life, Ye Jinghuai was always at odds with Kuyangsheng. The two of them fought each other. They were on par with each other. If I remember correctly, Miss An and Mr. Gu were a model couple. Why did you suddenly choose to cooperate with me? I'm so flattered. Then, how can I trust you? Come to the wedding that day. I'll show you my sincerity. Okay. Then, see you at the wedding. See you then. In the end, I died not knowing which one of them had won. No, no, why didn't you say hello to your uncle? Hello, uncle. If I remember correctly, An Yangun is here today to ask his illegitimate daughter, An Xiao, to work in the An group. My dear brother, when your father was dying, he left the entire company to you. I didn't get anything. Now I hope you can give Xiao a position in the An group. What do you think? Um... Hi, cousin. Have some tea to wake up. <gasps> you! What's going on? I'm fine, uncle. I'm sure just now she didn't mean to splash me. It was my own fault. Let me see.
You didn't hold it properly just because of your careless words. You've broken Grandpa's favorite tea set. No, that's not true. It was clearly Cousin just now who didn't hold it properly. So, now you've even learned to lie. You really aren't the daughter raised in the Ann family. No upbringing at all. You cannot even pass a cup of tea. You? I don't know what kind of person you grew up with. Besides pretending to be fragile, playing the victim, what else can you do? How dare you come to our house to embarrass yourself? My dear brother, is this how you teach your daughter? Huh? No, no. Don't you agree with me? No one disciplines you? Then I'll discipline you. Breaking grandpa's favorite tea set. You cannot pay for it, even if you die. Enough. Even though it's the tea set the dad left behind. But I'm sure he wouldn't want the family to get upset just over a teacup. Just get someone to clean it up. I say that Anshul's hand is right from the burn. We'd better take her to the hospital. Let the doctor take care of it. Ah, let's go, let's go. Hurry up. Nana, why are you so aggressive today? I just suddenly realized if you make yourself an ass. Don't complain if people ride you. Such a shabby thing, adding a call to Grandpa's heirloom. How could you even think of that? When dealing with a hypocrite, you should be a bit more cunning. Hey, Nuan Nuan, tomorrow's Charity dinner. Are you attending? Yes. What? Did I hear you right? I was just casually asking. I'll see you tomorrow. Are you going to tomorrow night's charity gala? Yes, I am. Didn't you used to dislike this kind of a social event? Dad, I'll work with you from now on to manage the ungroup and keep our family prosperous. No one can take it away from me, including uncle's family. Great, Dad believes in you. In this lifetime, I will firmly hold the Ann group in my own hands. Never again will I be that stupid to give it to Ku Yanchen for nothing. Nuan Nuan, you look so beautiful today. The news of Miss Ann's stunning appearance at the charity gala will definitely make headlines. Okay, enough. You're the sweetest one. Let's go. Nuan Nuan, why are you here? I thought you didn't like this kind of a social occasions. I just feel like I shouldn't be a caged canary all the time. An Xiao, why are you here? You're just the illegitimate daughter of the An family. You don't deserve to be here. Brother-in-law invited me, and he said I'm outstanding in my work, so he wanted to introduce me to some friends in his business world. If An Wan knew that what Ku Yangsheng praised me for was my skill in bed, I'm afraid she'll be furious. Sister, you cannot even serve a glass of water well, and yet you're doing a good job. So, your job is to be shameless in front of your sister, holding hands with her husband? Or do you think you're better suited to be next to my fiancé than I am? Cousin, don't misunderstand my brother-in-law. I heard from him that you don't usually attend this kind of banquet. That's why I'm here as his partner on your behalf. Cousin, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. Ah! Uh, you! Are you blaming me for not being generous enough? Are you blaming me for not being generous enough? No, not at all. I was careless this time, but I'll be more careful next time. What a 
shameful thing you are. In the Ann family, you're an illegitimate daughter, and you even want to be a mistress outside. Why do I feel that the way Anna looks at me is different from before? Could it be that she knows something? No, no. Hey, brother-in-law. No, no, you are really bossy today. That's awesome. I, I really don't expect you to come today. I'm sorry for what happened today. Don't be angry. Actually, I'm really happy you are here today. How could I blame you? Let's go. I was just overthinking it. She's still the same stupid woman. Let's go. Kuyan Sheng didn't even notice that I had left. In my previous life, how on earth was I coaxed around by a scumbag man like him, who is not good at playing? Miss Anne, why are you here? I've been waiting for you for a while. For what? Return my card. Mister Ye, you've always been generous to women, haven't you? So, Miss Anne is reminding me that you're already my woman. Is that so? Stallion, the card is at my home. I'll give it to you next time. Nana, why are you here? I've looked for you for a long time. It's so stuffy inside. I came out to get some fresh air. Next time, remember to ask me to go with you. Yo. Mr. J is here too. Long time no see. Mr. Gu's fiancée is as beautiful as a flower. Be sure to keep an eye on her. No need for you to see that. Nana, don't care about this loser. He must be approaching you for some purposes. <laughs> He's the one who doesn't have good intentions. I'm afraid that you, Kuyanshan, wouldn't be able to deal with this loser with all your tricks. Anna, I've noticed that you've changed. You used to hate communicating with strangers. Now you've gotten pretty good at it. You're so excellent. I have to work hard too. I'm so excellent because I want to offer you a better life. Besides, if you start socializing, I will be heartbroken. So disgusting. And now for our grand finale. It's a diamond necklace worn by Princess Diana in the 1980s. The starting bid is five million yuan. Each bid increment is one hundred thousands. Let's begin. Five and a half million. Five point five million. Six million. Six million, sir. This necklace suits you very well. I bid for it and gave it to you as a wedding gift. Okay. Eight million. Eight million. Ten million. Ten million. Yeting, why should knows how to spend big? Just a loser who relies on the family's money. Eleven million. Fifteen million. Sixteen million. Twenty million. Twenty million once. Twenty million twice. Twenty million. Twenty-five million. Ye Jingwei is just trying to deliberately raise the market price. We can't fall for it. Thirty million. Since Mr. Ye likes it so much, then we won't take away what you love. We'll give it up. This necklace is probably a wedding gift from Mr. Gu to Miss Anne, right? Are you sure you want to give it up? Congratulations, Mr. Ye. The necklace is yours now. I've heard 
that Mr. Gu is very fond of Miss Anne. So, I intentionally raised the price, so that you could better express your love for her. But I didn't expect the rumors were wrong. You're so shallow. Love is not something that can be measured in terms of money. Then I thank you, to leaving her, to me. Miss Anne, this necklace suits you perfectly. I'm giving it to you. Don't you like it? Since Mister Ye is so kind, then it's hard for me to decline. No, no, you. This is what's called a gentleman doesn't take what others love. When did Ye Jingwei become so handsome? <laughs> How can you accept a gift from him? It's my mom's birthday next month. She likes this necklace very much. I plan to give it to her. But even so, you shouldn't have taken. Yan Sheng, I tried to bid for it earlier, but you stopped me. I stopped you because I was afraid that you would be deceived by the pastor. That's why I stopped you. Yan Sheng, you've changed. You never used to be mean to me. You've become so unfamiliar. I thought you were a modest gentleman. Doesn't Anna hate anyone frivolous like Ye Jinghui? Could it be? You've become so unfamiliar. I thought you were a modest gentleman. It's because I care about you so much. That's why I got so angry. I won't do it again. As long as you are happy, it's fine. It's getting late. Let me drive you home. Miss An, why are you always so sneaky? Is that what happens to those who are having an affair? What are you talking about? Who's having an affair with you? Huh. I thought Miss An asked me to rob the wedding because you covet my body. I want to have an affair with me. You, what do you have for me to covet? Huh. I guess I misunderstood. I got the wrong idea. The card, give it back to me. You carried it around with you. I'll pay you back for the sapphire later. You can keep it. I've had my fine already. I don't care about that little bit of money. Consider it an engagement gift from me to you. If you don't care about that money, why did you keep asking me for my card? Anyway, thank you, Mister Ye. Good night then. Hey, why don't you invite me up? Get lost. Ye Jinghui, are you crazy? I heard that you spent thirty million yuan just for making a woman happy. Yes, that's right. I'm in love. Luan 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 Luan. Luan Luan, have you seen the news? Your Ye Jinghui and your Ku Yansheng are both trending. It's because of that necklace, isn't it? Why are you so calm? You don't seem surprised at all. What's so surprising about it? Ye Jinghui caused the scene yesterday. He did that on purpose to embarrass Ku Yansheng. How can he let this go quietly? Then he wouldn't be the devil king, Mr. Ye. Hey, seriously, Ye Jinghui was really handsome last night. Compared to that Scrooge Ku Yansheng, Ye Jinghui is much better. When you said you wanted him to take you from the wedding, I thought you were crazy. Now it seems you really have a discerning eye. Even a super scumbag like Ye Jinghui, you're able to discover the shining points in him. Compared to Ku Yansheng, Ye Jinghui's despicableness is not worth mentioning at all. 
No, no, I'm. When did you start understanding Ye Ching Hui so well? I came to realize that you've been hiding a lot of things from me lately. You've changed. Yes, I've changed. I've become someone who seeks revenge. Otherwise, how can I let those who harm me live worse than death? Calm down. Now you must calm down. Now the most important thing is to marry Anwar and get on family's property. By the way, the An family is the second richest family in Qingxi, Ye Jinghuai. The humiliation I've suffered today, I will return it to you twofold. Anon, I only asked for you to game. Why did you bring your mom here? Why? Are you afraid that I'll bully you? Granny, you misunderstood. I haven't seen you for too long, so I thought I'd come to see you. Mm. What a nice thing to say. Since you're here to save a mom, why didn't you bring her any gift? That's a filial piety to your mother-in-law. Who said we didn't bring a gift? Oh, really? Then show it to us. Who cares about her gift? <laughs> After all, her money is from the Han family. Yes, exactly. If it weren't for your father's inheritance, how could a woman from such a lowly family ever become the wife of the president of the Ant Group? You're right, Grandma. Since all the money belongs to the Ant family, then I suppose that it has nothing to do with you. Whose surname is Wen? What a bastard! What did you say? Am I wrong? It's clearly written in my grandfather's will that all of the Ann family's businesses belong to my father. If you have any complaints, you should go talk to my grandpa. You... What a bastard! How dare you curse your grandmother! I didn't mean that. What are you thinking about? Or it means that you have such thoughts, don't you? Bullshit! You, really, you. If you ever disobey your elders again, then get the hell out of here. <laughs> I think it is necessary for me to remind each of you this name on the property certificate of this unfamily mansion is my father. So, in other words, you are not staying in my house asking me to get out. I'm afraid that's not appropriate. I'm not... Grandma... Please don't be angry. I didn't mean to tell you to get out. I just wanted to remind you not to be so proud of using others' things. It's very annoying. How dare you! You've gone too far! Come on, stop pretending! Don't use your age as an excuse to disrespect others. It won't end well if we end up turning against each other. Grandma, you called me here. Because I took Ye Ting Hua's necklace yesterday and embarrassed Ku Yan Sheng, right? You're not even embarrassed to talk about it. Shame on you. Our aunt family has been doing business for generations. How could I miss out on such a lucky opportunity? Besides, Grandma, don't you love collecting jewelry? I plan to give it to you today. Where are the diamonds? But... Didn't uncle ask mom if she brought a present? We did bring one. But grandma, didn't you just say that? You don't care about our stuff? Your guy. And one. Stop showing off. Grandma is not a shallow person. It's just a worthless necklace. Oh, so you mean grandma won't contradict herself now? Of course. Shut up. You have no right to speak here. You have no right to speak here. Sit down, please. Anwan, I don't care about the reason why you took Ye Ching Wai's necklace yesterday. I'm just warning you, don't mess up your marriage with Gu Yan Cheng. You know what you're doing. 
You don't need to worry about my marriage, Grandma. Hmm. I'm just afraid that the good family will break off the marriage and disgrace the unfamily. Do you think the good family cannot do without you? You're right, Grandma. Back then, you were so against me being with Ku Yanshang. You wanted to send An Xiao to the Ku family, and you even forced Grandpa to change his mind. But now you're so concerned about me, Grandma. You don't have an ulterior motive, do you? You unfilial girl! Are you okay, Grandma? Anon, don't get too far. Grandma? It's not the weekend, is it? Uncle, why aren't you at work? What are you trying to say? I just think Grandpa made a wise choice. If he left the ungroup in the hands of someone like you, I'm afraid you'd have lost everything a long time ago. I'm gonna teach you a lesson on behalf of your father today. Try laying a hand on me and see what happens. I've already taken a video of what happened just now. If I post it online, your reputation will be ruined instantly. Dad! Don't be impulsive. Ignore that bitch. She's just a petty person who has gained some power. She'll get her karma one day. That's right. You disobedient, unfilial bastard. Who dares to be rude to your elders? You won't have a good ending. <laughs> Don't be so sure, uncle. There is still a long way to go. I'd like to see whose ending will be miserable. This Anwan, when did she become so sharp tongued? Shut up. You idiot. Grandma, it was clearly Anwan who disobeyed you. Why are you scolding me? Idiot. Why did you provoke Anwan, huh? Because of you, Grandma's fiercest affair was taken away by Anwan. You really are more trouble than you're worth. You really, Mom. Any legitimate daughter is really a disgrace. Anwan, you bitch. You've humiliated and scolded me multiple times. When I pick up the Mrs. School, you'll be the first to be punished. Now you've completely broken up with your grandma. Knowing her temper, she definitely won't let it go easily. Don't worry, Mom. From now on, as long as I'm here, no one in the Ann family will ever bully you again. You've really grown up. Mom is very proud of you. But you have to understand the principle of too rigid and easy to break. It's unwise to leave no leeway. No worries, Mom. We're family after all. I won't go too far. As long as they don't seek their own death. It's really hot. I heard you took our daughter back to the old house. Yeah, I didn't tell you since you've been busy with work lately. So anything happened? Nothing. Our daughter was there. Don't worry. That's weird. She was unhappy every time she returned from the old house. But it's different this time. Dad, you're back so early today. What's the matter? Oh my, I forgot something. Gu said he would invite us for dinner later today to talk about Nuan Nuan and Yan Sheng's wedding next month. Looks like Ku Yan Sheng is afraid of any changes. He cannot wait. Nuan Nuan, if you don't want to go, we can cancel it. Of course I want to go. Why not? But aren't you planning to call off the marriage? That's for later. We'll do whatever the Ku family says now, and cooperate with our acting. Mr. Gu, it's been a long time. Yes, it's true, haha. <laughs> I want to wait for you to have time to discuss the marriage of our children. But I also thought the wedding was coming up. I was afraid it would be rushed. I hope it didn't affect your work. Oh, no. We are our family. It doesn't matter if it affects or not. Don't be so formal. It's our children's wedding. No matter how busy I am, I definitely have to make time for it. Uncle Gan, after Nuan Nuan and I are married, I will also help our family's business. That way, you won't have to work so hard. You're thinking of taking over the power way too early. What a daydream. 
That's what I'm waiting for. When you and Nuan Nuan get married, the An family's business will rely on you more. I didn't realize that Dad is quite good at acting. Uncle and Auntie, dinner is ready. Let's go inside and talk. Oh, okay, okay. Please come here. Please, please, please. Mr. Gu, how is your business these days? It's been good thanks to you. <laughs> Uncle Gu, don't you trust my dad? If you have to have security cameras even during dinner. Th this. No, no, you misunderstood. This is where our family entertains our important guests. That's why the security camera is always on, just in case. Don't you know Uncle Ant's family is coming over today? Why didn't you remove the security cameras? Hurry up, what are you waiting for? No need, Yan Chang. I was just kidding. Why are you taking it seriously? It's all because the servant didn't know how to work. Don't be upset, everyone. We are family. No need to be formal. Come on, let's eat. Come on, come on. I heard the wedding preparations are almost complete. It was planned by Yan Sheng himself. He really thoughtful. He's much more sensible than our little princess at home. Uh -huh. Uncle, what I like most about Nuan Nuan is that she's innocent and not worldly wise. I will certainly cherish her whether before or after marriage. Yan Cheng, marrying you is the blessing of my eight lifetimes. She's reacting strangely today. Is it possible that Anun has discovered something? The gifts for Nuan Nuan have been prepared. They are definitely worthy of her status. I just don't know if there's anything else that Nuan Nuan particularly wants. Feel free to tell me. I'll make sure you get it. Mom, I cannot drink anymore. The Ku family doesn't want a woman who cannot bear children. You'd better drink it. Or else, you'll suffer. Mom, my stomach doesn't feel well. Every time I drink this, I want to vomit. Please, mom. Don't call me mom. How does a woman that cannot bear children get so many questions? No, mom. It's not my problem. The doctor said it's Kuyansha. Don't talk nonsense. How can there be anything wrong with my son? It's your belly that is not working. Drink this. <coughs> Nuan Nuan? Why aren't you speaking? Are you shy? Hold on. It's not the best time to break up. Don't be polite. I'll make sure you get what you want. I'm so fond of you as my daughter-in-law. Auntie, I'm not married yet. Calling you mom doesn't seem appropriate. Hey, what's with you? Why are you so impatient? It's all my fault. I love Nuan Nuan too much. I've treated her as my daughter-in-law. I used to like that sapphire, but since I already have it, I don't need anything else. You and Ye. What good things has Nuan Nuan not seen before? I don't think we need to choose anything. Everything in a good family belongs to the couple. Once they get married, they can buy whatever they want. Gu is right. From now on, everything from both of the families will belong to them. The betrothal gifts and such are just for formalities. You're such an asshole. See how I will deal with you once you marry him. The wedding matters have been settled. And I have a small personal matter to ask your brother Anne for help. Here comes the main part. Guo, why are you so polite to me? Just speak your mind. The Gu Group has recently started an e-commerce project, but there is a problem with the cash flow. After some thought, I think instead of asking others, I'd rather go to my own family. So I'll come to Brother M for help. Saying ask is too formal. I wonder how much is the funding gap for this Gu's project? After calculations, we need 20 billion. I've heard about this project. The total amount is also around 20 billion. 
I believe that Uncle Ku is not the type to make empty promises. Could it be that the Ku group has reached the point where they cannot even pull out a penny? Could it be that the Ku group has reached the point where they can't even pull out a penny? Well, here's the truth. The Ku family's funds are now being used for other projects. We can't get the money back for now. However, the Ku family has been eyeing this project for a long time. And now, it's just the right time to start. I thought since we are all family, we can make money together with Ann family. Oh, I see. Dad, the Ku family is in trouble. They can't just ignore it, right? I know it's right. I will pay for it, personally. Ah, I knew you had discerning eyes, rest assured. I'm very confident about this project, definitely a profitable one. As soon as the project ends, I'll immediately return the money to you. But what if there are losses? What to do about that? Uh, my family had a few experts do an evaluation. There won't be any losses. No, no, you don't know about business matters. Worrying is unnecessary. Just because I didn't understand before doesn't mean I'll never understand. I've recently learned about the economic crisis at the end of the 20th century. If an economic crisis occurs and inflation, countless assets invested will turn into bubbles. Who can guarantee things that haven't happened? If there are unexpected losses, Uncle Gu, Will you repay the money? Eh? Why wouldn't I pay it back? The Gu family isn't supported by just one project. Great. Since Uncle Gu insists on repaying the money, let's write an IOU. It seems that Nuan Nuan doesn't trust me and Yan Sheng. How can you say that, Nuan Nuan? Do our families do you need to issue IOUs? Dad, I know you don't care about money. What you care about is friendship with Uncle Ku. But if this gets out, outsiders will think that the Ku family is using Aunt family's money for the project. Wouldn't they think that the Ku family is taking advantage of the Aunt family? This would also not be good for Uncle Ku's reputation, right? Nuan Nuan is right. I really need to write this IOU. I'll write it when I have time. What are the odds? I was about to discuss a project with someone today and had prepared one. Uncle Ku, you just need to write it, sign it, and put your fingerprint on it. My dad will transfer the money to you immediately. Alright, I will write. Uncle Ku, you only wrote the debt amount as 2 billion. You didn't write when to repay it, nor what to do if you cannot pay it back in time. It seems there is no difference between having written this IOU or not. Ah, let me see. Oh dear. I've never written something like this before. I overlooked it. Okay, I'll write it down. The Ku family's net income last year should be over 10 billion, right? This mere 2 billion should be repaid within half a year, right? Half a year. Oh, by the way, Uncle Ku, just in case you cannot repay the money in time, my dad certainly wouldn't feel comfortable taking a close friend to court. In that case, how about using the shares of the Ku family as collateral? A few days ago, I heard Xia Qi Qi, the daughter of the chairman of Xiahui Bank, say that the Ku family borrowed 5.4 billion from their bank, corresponding to an 18% shareholding. If we calculate for this 2 billion, it should be around 6.67%. Oh no. What's wrong? Did I miscalculate? Uh, I... Oh well. Yan Sheng also didn't calculate it carefully. Nan Nan got it right. Right, 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 right. So, it's 6.67. Wow! Uncle Ku's handwriting is really good. In the future, my child with Yan Sheng will have to learn calligraphy from you. Alright, alright. Let's eat. Okay, okay. I heard that Xiao Nanchen returned to the country today. Help me think of a way to invite him out another day. Today? Today won't work. My brother's girlfriend and her family are coming for dinner. I don't know what time they leave. 
If I were to leave, my dad would scold me to death. Anwan, <sighs> even though she is naturally beautiful and indeed rich, isn't she still being manipulated by my brother? So all the coyness that Ku Yansuan showed in front of me back then was just an act. Mr. Ye, what's the point of drinking alone? Let's play some dice. I'm not in the mood today. You guys play by yourselves. What's wrong? Is there a problem? I'll take care of it for you. Can you summon spirits? What? Has our Mr. Ye's soul been taken away by an alluring woman? Who is it? Shh! Don't speak. Don't speak. Ye Jinghui, where are you? Did Miss Ang go to her fiance's house for dinner? How could she still think of me? I'm truly honored. What? Are you jealous? Call out Miss Ang for her to hear. Mr. Ye, you're so naughty. Ye Jinghui, don't catch a disease or else I won't want you anymore. Mi son, is there any matter? Where are you? I need to talk to you in person. So it's Miss An who is jealous. The marriage hasn't even taken place yet, and she's so eager to check up on her husband. Ye Jinghui, can you be serious? Yu Qian Destiny, Box Three Three Three. All right, wait for me. Here she comes! Here she comes! Everyone, sit down, sit down, sit down. Hurry up and greet your Mrs. Ye. Hi, Mrs. Hi, Mrs. Ye. Ye. I have something to tell you. Can you clear the room? Mrs. Ye has spoken. She's shy. Everyone off. Hey, where's my drink? Just how big a favor does Miss Anne want from me? Coming here and throwing herself into my arms. Clearly, it was him. Not me. I haven't done anything. You guys continue. Shouldn't he leave? My bro is doing legitimate business. If he leaves, who will look for you? How do you know what I'm coming to you for? I don't know, but I can guess. With about eighty to ninety percent accuracy. Tell me, who do you want me to deal with? Then I'll just say it. You know, I've always wanted to break off the marriage in order not to give the Gu family any leverage. I need a legitimate reason, like Gu Yansheng having an affair. What do you want me to do? I want intimate photos of Ku Yansheng and my cousin, An Xiao. Then put them on display at my wedding to completely ruin his reputation and legitimately kick him out. You were just discussing marriage with the Gu family, and now you are setting somebody up for destruction. You are playing your cards in such an unconventional way. How am I supposed to trust you? Are you scared? Afraid that I'll deceive you, Miss An? What am I afraid of? You think too highly of yourself. Otherwise, why don't you trust me? So, what do you think you have that's worth my trust? That's true, but you know, Ku Yansheng is no good person, and now I also see his hypocritical face. Why do I still want to lose myself in this? Not only will I not lose myself, but I will also return double the harm I've suffered.
So what do you need me to do? My mom will have her 50th birthday in half a month. My family will hold a grand birthday banquet and all the prestigious families of Qing City will be invited, including the Ye family. So what? Then, my cousin, An Xiao, she's always had her mind on that scumbag, Ku Yansheng. And Ku Yansheng wasn't a decent person either. That night, I thought if I just slightly push things along, Ku Yansheng will certainly lose control. I will surely catch him off guard and legitimately break off the marriage. So you mean you want An Xiao and Gu Yan Sheng's intimate video? Right. Then you must be psychologically prepared. Are you warning me about something? Tear off the layer of disguise. I'm afraid you can't handle it. I've seen all his disgusting faces long ago. So, tear it apart. As much as you want. Don't worry, I'll do it right away. Ye Jinghuai. Don't catch any diseases. I'm afraid you'll die before we've completed our deal. Are you concerned about me? Should we tell Miss Anne that all the ladies here have had regular checkups? Oh right, should we tell her they didn't even touch you? Hurry up and go do your thing. Alright then. Dad, mom's birthday is coming up in half a month. Let me take care of the birthday banquet this time. I want to throw a grand party for mom, inviting all the wealthy families in Qing City to celebrate her birthday together. Your mom always keeps a low profile. Oh, why this time? Dad, mom used to worry about you. She didn't want to distract you from your work. Which woman doesn't wish her birthday to be celebrated grandly and envied by others? All right, it seems your mom didn't touch you for nothing. Go ahead and arrange it as you wish. Thank you, Dad. Have some tea. Mr. Pan, with me here, you can rest assured about the Qing City project. I'm glad to hear it. Here, let me toast it to you. Mr. Pan, I have some urgent to attend to. I have to leave for a while. Leaving just like that, it might not be easy to explain, right? It's indeed quite urgent. I'll punish myself with a drink. Please don't give me a hard time, Mr. Pan. You have a bright future ahead of you. Later, have Xiao Chen come find me for talk. Thank you, Mr. Pan. Then I shall excuse myself first. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Weren't you attending a social event? Why did you come out? I know you are waiting for me. How could I not go? If you feel unhappy and want to kick me out too, what should I do then? Who said I was waiting for you? You are drunk. What makes me drunk is you. Not the wine. Miss I, you are more charming than wine. Let's talk seriously. Miss Ang coming to see me dressed like this doesn't seem like a serious matter. Boring. 
Tomorrow is my mom's birthday. Have you done what I asked you to do? Rest assured, everything is going as Miss Anne wishes. You can go back to do your business. I will leave. Anwa, see you tomorrow. Nuan Nuan, what's wrong? Did you see a ghost? Xia Ti Ti, you really never cease to surprise me with your words. But it's almost the same as seeing a ghost. Let's be serious. Ti Ti, I need your help. Why are you being so polite to me? Just tell me. After the birthday party tomorrow, find an excuse to invite several young men and women from the event to drink at the nightclub. Why? I will tell you later. Just say that we haven't gathered for a long time, and let's relax together. But I must see Ku Yancheng and An Xiao in the nightclub. No problem, I'll take care of it. Chi Chi. Nuan Nuan, what do you want to say? I heard that Xiao Nanchen is coming back. <sighs> Don't mention that name to me, okay? You know I hate him. But you and him are living under the same roof. So I plan to move out of the house and move in with Jimmy. No, you can't. How far have you and Ni Jimmy progressed? Nuan Nuan, why do you ask that? Didn't we agree when we were young that we should share our first kiss and first night with each other? So you don't want to tell me now? Well, just a kiss. How far can it develop? You haven't slept together. I mentioned it to him, but you know, Jiming is traditional. He lost his parents when he was a child. I'm afraid that my flighty behavior will make him anxious. Oh, that's fine. And you? Have you and Kuyan Sheng? No, I will never sleep with him before our wedding. And no, although your love is stable, you are still traditional about this kind of thing. Chichi, hmm? remember. You mustn't sleep together before marriage. All right, all right, I got it. Ni Jiming is just a wolf in sheep's clothing. In her previous life, Ni Jiming threatened her with a video of their first night, which eventually caused her suicide. This time, I absolutely cannot let Chi Chi fall into his scheme. You will wear it tomorrow. It looks a bit mature. Mom, I prepared it for you. Do you like it? For me? Not just the clothes. Isn't it the necklace from the auction? I was planning to buy it as a birthday gift for you. It's so beautiful, but I am afraid people may think I am showing off. If it is noticed by the Ku family, they would be unhappy. Maybe it's better to drop the idea. Mom? This is a dress I personally designed, and the necklace is selected for you. I would be heartbroken if you don't wear them. Ah, you. Fine, I'll wear them. There is nothing I can do with you. Oh, you're here, Mr. Gu. Congratulations, ha. Huh? They're here. Watch carefully later. I hope nothing goes wrong. Why have I not seen Yachu? No, I know. I am dressing her up. You will see her later. <laughs> that country pumpkin. No matter how she dresses up, it won't matter. She will never compare with my beauty. Uncle Anne, since Nuan no, Nuan no, is busy, let me take care of the guests for you. You are also a guest. You don't need to do anything. It's okay. We will be one family soon. Besides, Nuan no, Nuan no doesn't want you to overwork yourself. Ha ha ha, you have such a thoughtful daughter, we truly envy you. The eldest son of the Ye family thrives in business world. The second son holds a high position in the military. And the third, Jing Huai, has just received the provincial honors. He is on a path to success. Mr. Ye, others praising me is still somewhat of a compliment. You think that embarrasses me. <laughs> What's the use of talent? None of them give me peace of mind. Xinhua, come here. Greet Uncle An. Hi, Uncle An. Hi. 
Truly worthy of being Mr. Ye's grandson. So preeminent. You really impressed Uncle with your achievements. The reason why I can win this prize because of Mr. Gu's humility. You're so moderate. You're better, better than me. Youth is truly formidable. <laughs> Uncle An, you're giving me too much credit. The younger generation may stand on the foundation laid by our predecessors, but we strive not to let down your prestige. Great. Such composure in the face of honor and disgrace. This quality is rarely seen in the young generation. I think Duan Nuan should learn from you. If Nuan Nuan is willing to learn, she can come to me anytime. It's my pleasure. Jing Wai never takes things serious and doesn't bow his nose into others' business. Doesn't it mean that he's taken a liking to the aunt family's young lady? She doesn't need your help. She's my fiancée. I can get her myself. Choosing a teacher also depends on fate. In my opinion, Nuan Nuan should make her own decision. What do you think, Mr. Gu? I mean, the necklace you bought for 30 million, wasn't it supposed to be a gift for the woman you fancy? So you actually like someone so mature. Yeah, Ting Wai, what's gotten into you? It will be discovered. Do you know that? Men are most susceptible to a woman's coquettishness, even when she resists. Coquettishness, my foot. You made me lose face in front of my friends today. What will you do to make up for it? You didn't say that I couldn't give it to others. Miss An, are you usually so casual about gifts from your friends? I gave it to your future mother-in-law. I don't think it is casual. I accept your reasoning. Is Mr. Lee always in the mood for romance? So frivolous. Of course not. My sexual appetite is exclusive to you. Nanan, where have you been? I couldn't find you anywhere. Why is your face so red? Somebody flirted with you? Back when we used to write compositions, how come I didn't notice your unique style of expression? Do you remember what I said to you? Sure, half past ten. I remember. I never forget things you asked me to do. Son, I need to talk to you about something. Okay, do your business. I will go find my friends. Why is that necklace with anti? Did you say you liked it? I've explained to you, the color of the gemstone goes well with my mother's dress, so I gave it to her. You have changed. You were obedient before. I have to change. Otherwise, how can I go with you? Is that so? We're together every day. Why do you feel that way? I also want to know the reason. Now that you think I have changed, so does it mean we are not suitable to get married now? So, let's cancel our wedding. So, let's cancel our wedding. No, 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 it's not what I mean. How could I get angry over such a small matter? Besides, in the past, you wouldn't easily say that we shouldn't get married. I hope you'll never say that again, or I will be angry. Why do I feel like you don't love me so much? Do you still need to question my love for you? Really? Of course. We have been together for so long. When have I ever lied to you? So, don't say that again, or I will be sad. Yanshan, I trust you. I trust your love for me. Anxio, I just wanted to make you jealous, unwilling, so that you fall into the trap. You, when did you become so proactive? Can you forgive me? 
I have never been angry with you. What's wrong? There are elders here. Don't make a scene. How come? I never noticed before that Anon has this charming side to her. It truly makes one unable to resist. You are still so shy like before, but it doesn't matter. We will get married soon. I'll definitely. Stop. Okay. Hi everyone, we finally gathered together. How about going to the nightclub and have some fun? I'll treat. Sure. I remember you don't like this kind of place. I haven't been there before, so I want to experience it. Yanshan, can you go to there with me? Okay. Who else wants to go? Uh, me? I've never been to a nightclub before. I want to go with you. Okay, if I don't agree, it will make me, your older sister, look stingy. You can go with us. Thank you. How dare you compete with me for a man? Anwan, wait and see. Mr. Ye, don't you prefer sex parties? This is just a normal party. Why do you have time to come here? Mr. Gu, did you bring your fiancé here? Is it unusual for me to come here? I've always had a question. My fiancé never showed up at this kind of a social occasion. How do you get to know each other? You should have asked her. No, no, tell him. How did we meet? The Ye family and the An family both are of the four peak families of the Qing city. Is it strange that we know each other? Is that all? Yan Zhang, what do you mean by that? You don't trust me? How come? You and I are getting married soon. How could I not trust you? I'm just... I'm going to the washroom. I need some fresh air outside. You drink with Mr. Gu. Mr. Gu, drinking alone without me? How could I? I've heard that the e-commerce market is hard now. Mr. Gu didn't hesitate spending 2 billion yuan with the Anan family's backing. It's hard for us not to end it. Even Chen Zhang knows about this. I'm afraid that everyone outside now thinks the Gu family depends on the Anan family. Bullshit. Do I, Gu Yansheng, need to rely on women? Mr. Gu, I'd like to propose a toast to you. Oh, I'm sorry, brother-in-law. I didn't do it on purpose. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll just go change it. Uh, Mr. Ku, there is a lunch upstairs. Fine. Excuse me, Mr. Chin. Did you break your ankle, lady? Shall we take her to the infirmary on the second floor? No need to bother, Mr. Chin. I'll find it myself. Okay, la ah -huai. Satisfied? I'm satisfied with how Mr. Ye handles things. I'm satisfied with how Mr. Ye handles things. Looks like you've been expecting this. You were supposed to get married in a month. How can you be so sure? 
that Gu Yan Song will definitely cheat on you. Because dogs can't change their ways. How does it feel to be beaten by a dog? What are you talking about? Did you stick out your tongue? What do you mean? I'm saying that when you were with Gu Yan Song today, did you? I don't like it when you're like this. Such soft lips. Don't let other men touch them again. Ye Qinghui, we'll just have a formal marriage. Miss An, are you rejecting me? I just want to remind you, whether it's before or after marriage, we cannot interfere with each other's normal lives. You can continue to go on with your life with a lot of beautiful women. I will never hold you accountable for that. But please, keep your distance from me. What does Miss An mean? After marriage, I can be involved with thousands of women, but I can't touch Miss Anne. Not even a single strand of hair. Is that so? I think someone like you know how to live. I don't think you'd give up the whole forest just for one crooked tree like me. How will I know that I'm not willing if you don't try? Ye Qinghui, I'll bring you a great future. But I won't belong to any other man. One day you'll know. What I want is never just a great future. What I really want is. Nuan Nuan, who are you looking for? Where are the two people who trained with Gu Yanzhong? You mean Ye Qinghui and Jin Qiang? I don't know where they've gone, but there's something I need to tell you. As soon as you left just now, An Xiao went upstairs with Gu Yanzhong. Do you want our sisters to catch them in the act? No need. Gigi, if we go to catch the traitor, the news will soon be suppressed. He's getting off too easy. Nuan Nuan, what do you mean? I will find the most suitable time to reveal his true colors and make him lose face. Qin Qiang is probably finding someone to take photos, but where is Ye Ting Huai? Was what I said just now too much? Nuan Nuan, what else have you said up behind my back? Chi Chi, when it's time for you to know, you'll find out naturally. You have to do me a favor tonight. What favor? If I go back alone without seeing Ku Yan Chang, he'll definitely suspect me. So tonight, you stay with me. We won't return until we're drunk. I'm good at this. Waiter, bring more wine. Nuan Nuan, are you okay? I can still drink. Oh, there, there. It's all my fault, Nuan Nuan. I knew you couldn't handle alcohol well, but I still let you drink with me. Come on, can you still walk? I can walk. I can still drink. Ah, uh, Nuan Nuan. Hey, Ching Huai, why haven't you left yet? Misa, you took the initiative. Ah, Nuan. If you don't answer, I'll assume you agreed to come home with me. I'll check only three numbers: three, two. Uh, hey, no one. one. My stomach feels terrible. I will pour you a cup of hot water. Don't go. I know. I'm not a righteous man, especially for you. This is in my room. Where is this? Ah! You. 
I... Why are you here? Have the clothes? Oh, you drank too much last night. And I wanted to come home with me. The clothes are mine. I personally helped you put it on. Of course you asked for it. Miss Ai, last night you were really... Shut up! I was drunk last night. I didn't know your waist is so slender and soft in two years today. Ye Ching Hua, you dirty jerk who took advantage of me. I'm gonna go home. Fuck off. What do you want to do? Never mind. This is not the first time we kiss anyway. Just assume I am bitten by a dog. <laughs> Miss Anne. What are you expecting? I am not. Don't worry, Miss Anne. Yesterday when you were here, you threw up everywhere. I really could not get interested in you. So, I'm still innocent. What innocence do you have left, you asshole? I'm leaving. Are you sure you want to go out wearing my shirt? Where's the video? Drink your milk first, then I will show you. Are you so desperate to watch it? Yan Chen, I miss you so much. You little devil. Tell me, were you deliberately trying to seduce me just now? I'm so mad at you. You see through my scheme. Why are you so bad? Xiao Xiao, my babe, I'll be worse later. What are you doing? Let's stop here. I've confirmed the later part for you. There's no problem. I don't need you to help me confirm. I can watch it by myself. Anna, you want to see Gu Yanxiong's naked body so badly? I can tell you responsibly that there's nothing attractive about this naked body. Do you have anything worth seeing? At least more than him. Anwar, you stayed out all night. Are your parents gonna kill you if they find out? Your phone keep ringing last night. Where is my phone? Where is my phone? It kept it ringing, so I turned it off for you. If you don't contact me soon, I am really gonna call the police. Are you kidnapped? By Ye Jing Huai? Tell me. I find someone to hit him to death right now. No, Ji Ji. I was drunk last night and slept at Ye Jing Huai's house. You slept over? Innocently. Ji Ji, you are the best. If my parents ask about this, tell them that you took me to the hotel. Don't tell them the truth. Why should I be thrown under the bus? Chi Chi, because you are kind. If Gu Yanchang asks, you also answer him this way. And when you are really corrupted now, now you've even learned to cheat on someone. No. You'll find out who is cheating later. Nanua, why was your phone turned off last night? Nanua, why was your phone turned off last night? I was drunk and my phone died. Where did you go yesterday? I've been looking for you for a long time. I was going crazy. I went to Chi Chi's home. Chi Chi, wasn't she the last one to leave? Yes, I left with Chi Chi. If you don't believe, you can call her and ask. And I also couldn't find you in the meantime. Where were you? Yesterday, I have to make two phone calls for work-related matters. What nonsense are you talking? We've been in love for so many years. How can I not trust you? That's good to hear. Do you know that we're gonna get married? I'm really looking forward to it. I love you. 
After answering his phone, you must have feel too disgusted to finish your breakfast, aren't you? Now you see my determination, right? Okay, I gotta go. I need to confirm confession with Chichi. Yeah, Tinghua. Will you come to our wedding? I'll go if you want me to. I didn't expect him to be so thoughtful. Thank you. Nuan Nuan, where did you go? Me and your father couldn't reach you on the phone. We were so worried that we almost called the police. Nuan Nuan, nothing bad happened, right? No, nothing happened. Yesterday I was drunk with Chi Chi, so I stayed over at her home, and my phone died. You don't need to worry. I'm relieved as long as you're fine. I have a meeting now. Don't drink too much alcohol from now on. Your mother really freaked out. Yes. Okay, Dad. Hmm. Mom, did you see the news today? What's up? Look at the headline on the front page. Low-key aristocrat Li Ya Chu changes your perception of the upper classes. The news content is mainly photos. All of them are your beautiful photos, especially the comments. Let me read for you. <clears throat> she amazed everyone when she made her debut. Top noblewoman of the Qing city is definitely Li Ya Chu. Mom, what happened? Don't cry. Nothing. I just feel that my Nuanwan finally grew up and knows how to give me surprise. <sighs> Mom, you are always worthy of these praises and glory. Me and Dad didn't give you enough care before. Mom? From now on, I will make our family better and let those people who disregarded us before be out of our league. For crying out loud, those blind and crazy reporters, they gave the title of top noble woman of the city to Leah too. That hick. This title should belong to me from the beginning. I can't stand Yun Yuching who fights over it with me. But how can Leah to be qualified? Mom, it's just the stunt made by the media. The unfamily intentionally makes the birthday banquet so grand to force us to have a large wedding. They are so scheming. That stupid woman. She dares to plot against me. If it's not for the unfamily's property, I would not marry her at all. Son, don't worry. After she marries into our family, I have a thousand ways to torture her. Don't be soft-hearted at that time. Soft-hearted? I can't wait to use her up and kick her away and let her fuck off as far as possible. Nuan Nuan, you look really beautiful. With this makeup and this wedding dress, I'm falling in love with you. Don't worry, Chi Chi. When you get married, I'll pick a more beautiful one for you. Speaking of wedding dress, your wedding dress doesn't look very luxurious. The design isn't great either. Does the Ku family have to save money? Even on this, Kui Sheng is tied up with a project that's causing the company to lose money. I just picked one at random. Anyway... Anyway what? Anyway, this wedding won't happen. Nothing. It's almost time. Let's go. Get out! Great burgers are no biters, don't you know? Sister, I come here to wish you well. I don't think you're here to wish me well. You're here to show off this dress, right? Kui Yansheng ordered it for you. How did you know? Not only do I know that Kui Yansheng ordered you a wedding dress, but he also promised you that as long as I marry him, he'll be able to keep you in his name. Kui Yansheng, that bastard! Anwan, how did you know? What do you want to do? What do I want to do? You'll find out soon. Let's go. No! He cannot get married. Yan Sheng, you mustn't get married. 
暖暖。Yan Shang, she's scheming. She knows everything. You cannot marry her. Are you crazy? I wish she's in the room. Shut up. Yan Shang, listen to me. Let me go. Everybody, this is the second daughter of the An family. She suddenly jumped out to slander Nuan Nuan. I'm afraid there's some misunderstanding. Please don't be offended. Nuan Nuan, don't get me wrong. Wait. Yan Shang, I didn't misunderstand. You are really the best girl in the world. I'm lucky to marry you. But it's my bad luck to be married to you. The wedding hasn't been held. You haven't married me yet, have you? You are being mischievous again. Are we getting married soon? After you marry me, I will continue to love and cherish you, and treat you like a princess. The wedding starts soon. Let's go. Dad,、hmm? no matter what happens later, don't be surprised. Although I had known that Nuan Nuan would break off the engagement today, but in what form and how far will it go, I have no idea. Don't know. If you really don't want to get married, Dad can find another solution. Don't worry, I have my own plan. Miss Anwar, are you willing to marry Mr. Gu? Love him and respect him. Stay with him for life, through poverty and wealth, in health and in sickness. Look, isn't this a scumbag? Oh, he's the scumbag. What a scumbag! Yeah, how dare he get married? This, this isn't my son. It's definitely not. This is not my son. No, that's ridiculous. It's not at all. Mom, mom, are you okay? No, no. Who, who is trying to harm our Ku family? Stop looking! Stop looking! All of you, stop looking! Turn off your phone! Turn it off! That's not true. Someone must be setting me up. No, no. No, no. Let me explain. I was drunk that day, and I thought it was you. That's why I. I'm not deaf. In the video, you repeatedly call her "xiao xiao baby." Are you lying too much? Do you think everyone else is stupid? No. Let me explain. Bitch, how dare you humiliate me in public? Ku Yansheng, I've been devoted to you all these years, and my Ann family has done everything to help your Ku family. Tell me, what have I done wrong to you? Nuan Nuan, can you forgive me? Do you know how bad I feel when I woke up and saw that person was Ann Xiao? I wish I could kill myself, but I can't. Because if I die, who will take care of you? We've loved each other for so many years, and we've just walked into the wedding hall to hold hands for the rest of our lives. Can you bear to ruin all this? You are the one who ruined it. That's not true. Let me go. I swear, listen to me. I'll be good to you in the future. Please trust me. I won't go out drinking anymore. Give me one more chance. I'll take good care of you. I'll cherish you. Okay? Ku Yansheng, that's not what you said before. You said you were true to me. You said you were tired of Anwen long ago. You only stayed with her for the money. Shut up. Ku 
Yan Cheng, that's not what you said before. You said you were true to me. You said you were tired of Anwan long ago. You only stayed with her for the money. Shut up. You took this video, didn't you? You set me up just to keep me from marrying Anwan. No! You crazy bitch! I, Take her away! Listen to me! I didn't do it! Let go of me! No, no. Every man makes mistakes sometimes. Think about our relationship for so many years. Think about how good I've been to you. That's why you cheated on me? If you want me to forgive you, then kneel down and apologize until I'm satisfied. What are you talking about? I just cheated on you. I didn't kill anyone. Do you hate me that much? It's more than that. Do you dare to say you've never thought of killing me? Do you dare to say you didn't marry me for the unfamilies property? What are you talking about? Are you being instigated? You misunderstood me. I love you so much. How could I do such a thing? If you can't kneel down, don't pretend to be affectionate in here. It's disgusting. Will you forgive me if I kneel down? It depends on what you do after kneeling down. I've really loved you for many years. Anwar, me too. I love you too. But from now on, I don't love you anymore. No, you wouldn't be so heartless, would you? There are only zero times of infidelity. I wouldn't choose to spend the rest of my life with such an unfaithful man. I swear. I'll never do anything wrong to you again. That's it. Wedding's over. Anwar! You tricked me. You bastard. No, no. You know that I've always liked you. Yan Sheng has done something stupid. I'm gonna kick his ass. You have to give him another chance. Yes, you bastard, how could you treat one more like this? Uncle Ku, do you really like me? I thought you were trying so hard to become in laws with the Ann family just because your project was in trouble and you needed my father's money to solve it. Well, Ku, I've always thought of you as a friend. I even promised my only daughter to your son. If that's what you have in mind, my daughter is not going to marry your son. Stop! Mom, why are you here? Marriage is not a child's play. I cannot let you do this. Anwan and Yanshan's engagement was a promise by your father when he was alive. If she walks away like this, she's disregarding her grandpa and the elders. Mom, the marriage promise of the elder is one thing, but the Gu family can now be entrusted is another. Nuan Nuan is my daughter. No matter what you say, unless Nuan Nuan agrees, otherwise I won't let her marry Gu Yan Sheng. Nonsense! Are you going to disobey me? I... So, Grandma, you think that as long as the promise is made by the elders, I should obey even if I have to marry a murderer? Anwan, don't be unreasonable. I won't force you if Yan Sheng was a murderer. But he's not. He's just made the same mistake that all men make. You want to break off the marriage because of this little mistake? Have you forgotten how good they've been to you? How can you be so ungrateful? Ungrateful? 
Does Kuyan Sheng have to forgive me unconditionally, even if I cheated on him? What's the point of marriage? I'm none. How can you say that? Do you have any sense of integrity? Mom. Anwan, look at how upset you've made your grandma, huh? You are way out of line. Should I, as your uncle, teach you a lesson? I was not expecting to embarrass the unfamily. Uncle, since you want to get justice for the unfamily, let's talk about this. The trigger for this scandal is the affair between your daughter, An Xiao, and Ku Yan Shang. Earlier, Ku Yan Shang said it was not him who started it. Was he telling the truth? If he was, I may forgive him. Nonsense. An Xiao is my daughter. How could she do this? Like mother, like daughter. Didn't her mother have an affair with you that led to the end of your marriage? You shut up. There's no way your sister would do that. Mm, it must have been an accident. Oh, you mean Kui Anshang seduced your daughter? No. It was Anshu who seduced me. She got me dragged and sneaked into my room. I thought it was you. So I... Could you forgive me? You heard that? Your daughter made the first move. You should go home and educate her properly. Stay out of my business. You... Shut up! Mom, mom, mom! Help mom go back first. You... No, no. Uncle. I want to talk to Nana alone. Please. I thought you said you forgive me. But I didn't say I'd marry you. What's it going to take for you to marry me? No way. There's a limit to everything, Anna. Do you realize the consequences for impulsive decision today? I swear, I won't marry you after today. Do you think I care? Who in the entire city do you think would dare to marry a woman I don't want? I dare. Anwan, marry me. Yijing Huai, you're really here. You're my bride. Of course I have to come. The wedding is ready. Wait! You know Ye Jinghua is not a good person. I'm sure that if you go with him today, you will regret it. Ku Yan Sheng, I have learned something from you. You can never know a person just by their reputation or labels. I can see with my own eyes what kind of person Ye Jinghua is. I don't need you to judge him. Gu Yan Sheng, you'd better get out of my way. Mr. Gu, it's a bit immoral to verify someone to their face. Besides, she can go with whomever she wants. It's pointless of you being pestering. Who are you to meddle in my family's affairs? I heard that there's some issues with the Gu family's business in Southeast Asia. This can either be big or small. What do you mean? Nothing. My brother's having a wedding today. I'm happy and don't care about all those nonsense. But if Mr. Gu doesn't follow the rules, don't blame me for doing the same. How dare you threaten me? You know what kind of person I am. If you don't believe it, 
feel free to try. Ye Jinghuai, you set the whole thing up, didn't you? What did you say, Mister Gu? I don't understand. I have other important matters to attend to. Excuse me. Uncle Lan, Uncle An, I'm used to being on the prowl, so my reputation wasn't great. Indeed, Nuan Nuan has suffered, but I assure you, I will be devoted to Nuan Nuan after we get married. I've never cheated on her, and I've decided that I will transfer all my personal assets under Nuan Nuan's name. Ha ha ha! This wedding is so rushed, and he didn't even tell us in advance. This is a wedding gift for Nuan Nuan from us. Take a look and see if anything is inappropriate. We can make additions. You have a look. This yard and the property are one thing, but five percent of the original shares of the Ye Group—that's too much. Nothing is too much. It's prepared in advance. Five percent for each of my three sons. It's my son's great honor to marry the daughter of the An family. <laughs> I've liked Jing Huai since he was a kid. He has made big progress in the last year or two. It's just that after this incident, we feel that as parents, we shouldn't be the ones to make decisions on this marriage. What's important is that they like each other. This bracelet is an heirloom of the Ye family. Jinghuai's grandmother gave it to me when I married Lu Ping. Nuan Nuan, you're my daughter-in-law, so I'm giving you this today. This is too valuable, Ye Jinghuai. Take it. It's yours. My mom treasures this bracelet even more than she treasures me. That means my mom really likes you. I will cherish it. Thank you, Auntie. Why are you still calling me Auntie, Mom? Yes. <laughs> Nuan Nuan is really lucky. After all the ups and downs of marriage, she finally met Ching Huai. It's comforting for us to see this. Yes. Don't worry, Nuan Nuan's mom. After the wedding, we'll treat Nuan Nuan. As if she's our own daughter. Son, take your wife to get the marriage certificate. Ye Jinghuai, our marriage is fake. We don't need to get the certificate. I know, but Gu Yansheng is smart. If he finds out that our marriage is fake, wouldn't that be bad for both our families? In that case. He can reap the benefits for doing nothing. We cannot let the bastard benefit from this. You're right. But you don't need to worry, Ye Jinghuai. I won't take advantage of you after we're married. It's not like you can't take advantage of anything. What are you thinking about? I'm talking about marital property and the shares. I know. I'm talking about the same thing. Is there anything else on your mind, Miss Anne? Are you insinuating something? Stop. Let's go get the certificate. Ye Jinghuai, why are you so happy to get a marriage certificate? Why wouldn't I be happy? From now on, you're my wife. Our marriage is fake. You're my wife, Wefi. Why? Here's the wedding dress you wanted. This wedding dress is from one pay country. So beautiful. As long as you like it. This kind of wedding dress is usually customized. Where did you get the right size for me on such short notice? Wedding dresses are meant to be festive. I won't give you no one else wants. That's right. I've had more than ten master tailors who worked day and night for two months, and Xinjiang just brought it over. 
after all. This will be the last wedding of your life. I don't want you to have any regrets. There is no way to compare the two. I spent so many years with Ku Yansheng, yet in just two months of knowing Ye Qinghui, I still cannot measure up. Could you tell me, why do you put in so much effort for me? Because I'll be your husband. Uh, why? Miss Anne, I've gotta go. I'm afraid that Gu Yansheng will make trouble again, ha. Huh. Congratulations on your marriage, bro. It's so thin. It's a bank card. Huh. Just go. No, no, Han, you're gorgeous. Chi Chi, I am nervous. Is it because Ye Jingwei is too handsome? Miss An, do you come here of your own accord? Yes, so? So, you can't turn back now. Ye Qinghuai, why is your hand shaking? I haven't experienced anything grand before. I'm nervous too. Please welcome the groom's parents on stage. Both to heaven and earth. Both to the parents. Bridge and grow and bow to each other. Kiss, 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 kiss. No, no. You belong to me now. Ye Qinghuai, I should sleep in the next room. What are you doing? Ye Qinghuai, it's just a marriage of convenience. So? So we don't belong to each other. So? Who do you belong to? No one. Please let go of me, Mr. Ye. What if I say no? Not? Well, based on appearances alone, Ye Qinghuai is indeed a perfect bad partner. Making out with him, it seems like acceptable. Miss An, you will only belong to me. Why is the wedding glow so hard? Ye Qinghuai! What? Come on! What's up? Ah, can't you just wear clothes properly? I'm wearing them. I just took a shower. So you cannot wear clothes properly after taking a shower? And your... You mean my red underwear? It's our wedding day. Red is the symbol of joy. So, what did you want from me? Um, it's just that this wedding gown is hard to take off. Could you... Are you asking me to take off your clothes? I shall call Chi to come and help. I can't wait. Ye 
Ye Jinghuai, can you actually undress? Take it easy. There's no clothing that I, Ye Jinghuai, can't take off, especially yours. This dress is too thin. To prevent wrinkles, nothing can be worn inside other than underwear. It's unimaginable. If the dress falls to the ground... Not wearing anything inside, huh? Stop it! Get off my back. Am I your servant? Please, Ye Jinghuai, go out. Then, call me husband. You have so many girls calling you husband. Why do I have to do it? How can they compare with you? Don't doubt me. If I say, I only wish to hear you call me husband. Husband. What? Husband! This Anwan just divorced with Ku family and quickly attached herself to the Ye family. She is truly shameless and despicable. Shut up. You know nothing. An Yanhuan hasn't answered my calls since noon. It seems this time the An family really wants to break ties with us. Our projects in Southeast Asia are now in Qingjiang's hands. I don't know if that's good or bad, without investment from the Ann family. We will have big trouble sooner or later. We are really paying a double penalty. Son, don't be angry. In Qing City, there are plenty of girls who are smarter and have better personalities than her. Our Ku family doesn't need this treacherous woman. Mom will find a better marriage for you. No. No, I want to take Anna back. Even though she's just a loose woman played by me. Without my permission, she cannot stay with the aging Huai. Yan Shang, are you really willing to be my boyfriend? Of course. I've known for a long time that Anna's feelings for me weren't sincere enough. She has been involved with aging Huai for a long time. First time is mine. You truly love me. But, Yan Sheng, during the wedding, you... Xiao Zhou, I had my reasons at that time. The Gu family was facing a crisis then. I have to try my best to keep Anwa. I really have no other choice. Really? Really. At that time, I wasn't targeting you. Do you know? Finally, Anwa forced me to nail down. I still couldn't keep her. I'm so sorry for that day. Yang Shuang, as long as you really love me, as long as you are willing to marry me, this suffering is nothing for me. I know you are the one who really loves me. I don't know now if you are still willing to help me. <laughs> Yang Shuang, I'm certainly willing to help you if you tell me your difficulties. What? You want me to drop Anwan? Xiao Xiao, I know it's hard for you to do it now, but I can't even see her now. You're part of the Anne family, so you must have better access to her than I do, right? But Yan Xiao, after the scandal broke out last time, I almost faced severe punishment from my family. I'm afraid. I know you're afraid. I know you're afraid that if the truth comes out, Anwan will come up for you. But think about it. If we get a view of her having sex with those men. She'll have to listen to whatever we say. Unless she's willing to ruin her reputation. Xiao Xiao, once this is over, we can be together. Don't you want this day to come sooner? Okay, I'll do it. Before long, it will be Grandma's 69th birthday party. Which is just the right day. Mom, these are the jade earrings that Juan Juan and I chose for you. Wishing you abundant blessings and longevity. Mm -hmm. 
Mom, I went to Westside and choose the finest jade myself. I supervise the polishing to your size. Try it. Do you like it? I still like the bracelet. What's the point of having an expensive emerald? No matter how well you choose the gifts, if you don't educate your children well, they'll still be a disgrace to the Ann family. Anwan, isn't your jewelry too ostentatious and extravagant? Grandma, I didn't want to wear it either. It's heavy. But Ting Hua said it's his heartfelt gesture. It's better to wear jewelry than to let it gather dust in storage. Don't think you can show off just because you married into the Ye family. Showing off in front of your own family. Do you know anything about respect? In fact, the Ye family has given me more than just these two pieces of jewelry. Even if I bring one or two sets every day, it will still take months to wear them all. I really don't feel like showing off. Could it be that someone is envious? What nonsense! It's just a few pieces of jewelry. Who would envy you? Sister, today on Grandma's birthday, I'd like to apologize to you. I was wrong about what happened last time. I already know I'm wrong. I shouldn't have done that with brother-in-law and with Kuyansha to affect your marriage. I'm really sorry. Can you forgive me? No. Sister, you're a generous person. Besides, you've met someone who loves you more than Kuyansha. It's a blessing in disguise. As your sister, I'd like to congratulate you. Stop pretending. Aren't you tired? You must want to replace me as the Ye family's young lady of the house right now. I... I'm not. Sister, you've misunderstood me. I don't want to deal with you today. Don't let me see you again. Sister, that went back and gave me a harsh lecture. And I truly understand my mistake now. Please, forgive me this time. I know, huh? Are you satisfied? Thank you, sister. Well, we're all family. Let's eat. Hello? Anon has already drunk with my wine. It's been a while. There should be a reaction by now. Have you arranged for your people to be there? It's been arranged. You send me the location. A man will take Anon away. Okay. What's going on? It's so hot. Hello? Has everything gone smoothly today? It went well. What time are you going home? A little later. Ye Qinghuai, why do you care so much? <laughs> Anwa, are you playing coquetry at me? Am I? I feel so hot, like I've had too much to drink. Did you drink a lot today? I didn't. Just a few glasses of champagne and a glass glass of wine, and that's all. Anwa, tell me where you are. Stay there and don't hang up. I'm coming to you now. I'm in the bathroom. No, no. I know. Hello. Jinjo, I know I may have been drugged. Your people are at the M family banquet. Take me to her. Don't worry. I'll bring my man there myself. Don't worry. I know. It's been a long time. Have I ever told you that you can leave me, but you can't betray me? I'm not 
touch me, scum. You don't want me to touch you. Who do you want? Ye Jinghuai? I tell you, one of my biggest regrets was not having you before the wedding. Ye Jinghuai, that bastard, I got lucky. The moment I think about how your body has been ruined by him, it makes me feel nauseous. Since you think I'm disgusting, why don't you leave me to fend for myself? You force yourself. What I'm doing now is just to discuss that bastard Yi Jinghuai. Do you think Yi Jinghuai would want you if he saw you promiscuous under me? Scum. Bitch! I know. Don't forget how obedient you were when you married me. Well, then I will give you a taste of being a whore today. Let go of me! Let go of me! Let go of me! Let go of me! Uh. Anua, are you okay? How are you? Ye Jinghuai, you are here. Which hand did you use to touch her? I'm asking you. You guess. I ask you, which hand you used to touch my sister-in-law? I told you. Yes. You better to investigate this matter thoroughly. Every person who laid a hand on her, not a single one can be spared. Then cut down at least the two of his fingers. Rest assured, I will do it by myself. Ye Jinghuai, don't you dare do it if you have the guts to kill me. Up. If you don't kill me, I will kill you one day. Shut up. So hot. Kiss me. Uh, okay, wait. Save it for later. Let's go to the hospital first. So hot. Give me a kiss. Don't worry, come on. Okay, let's go to the hospital now. Don't be like that. Hold on a little longer. Don't, 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 don't cry. I beg you, please don't cry. Whatever you want, I'll do it. Give me a kiss. Oh dear, I'm begging you. I'm really uncomfortable. Don't test me anymore, really. I'll fasten your seatbelt right away. Wait, I know. Are you sure you want your first time to be here? Let me ask you first. Will you blame me no, for this? I won't. How are you? Are you okay? It hurts. Yesterday, yesterday we... we... I remember I was drunk yesterday. Was I hit by someone? You don't remember? I just remember I was drunk yesterday. And then... Um, I cannot recall. What happened? I remember I didn't drink too much. Why am I in the hospital? Anshu put aphrodisiac into your wine. What? Aphrodisiac? So I... Dude, I... Who the hell took advantage of me? I must kill him. Don't worry. When Gu Yansheng was about to take advantage of you, I arrived just in time. And... I brought you to the hospital. That's good then. Thank goodness. What's the matter, Mom? Nuan Nuan, Jinghui's two brothers are not by our side. You got married to Jinghui and moved out. Do you feel like our home is getting emptier? I see, Mom. From now on, Jinghui and I will come back to stay twice a month. Ah, I mean... Mom means... We should give her a grandson. Nuan Nuan... If you have a baby early, then you will recover more quickly. 
So, in the future, you can wear swimsuits and show off your abs without any problem. Don't worry, your son has no problem with fertility. Having a child is a piece of cake. But we agreed not to have children, right? Did you forget? But Nuan Nuan is still young. We can wait until she's twenty-four.、Uh, Then we will have a baby. That's good. I don't mean to push you. It's just that recently, I've seen a lot of child-free couples online, and I'm afraid you might be influenced. I'm not anxious. We can wait until Nuan Nuan is twenty-four. Sit down first. Are you angry? Hie Jinghua, you don't keep your word. Did you forget what you promised me before we got married? Having children after marriage is a natural thing, right? If the elders ask, "Are we really going to say we are child-free?" and another thing is whether or not we want to have children, we'll say in the future. Don't think I can figure it out. That article about child-free couples intentionally showed it to your mom. How did you know? You don't be angry. Don't be angry. Let me tell you some good news first. The stock price of Gu Family has reached its lowest point in history. The crisis of Gu Family now. What do you think of it? Personally, of course, I hope Gu Family will go bankrupt and that scum can go cold and hungry. But Gu Family has been rooted in Qing City for decades, so it won't be easy to bring it down. Once Gu goes bankrupt, a large amount of resources will flood the market, which will inevitably lead to a fierce battle. Your analysis is comprehensive. No wonder I value you. But in that case, we will inevitably have to fill the gap in Pu's family. I'm unwilling to do that. It will be worthy. I remember you have shares in the Gu Group, right? You mean? You can exchange all the stock of that two billion for Gu Wenquan's shares, and add on some that I secretly acquired before. With all these shares combined, even if I'm not the largest shareholder, I definitely have influence. You bought so many shares of the Ku family. It must have taken more than a day's work. I've prepared for nearly half a year. It's really hard to imagine now that Ku has fallen to this point. How much effort you have put behind the scenes. I take back what I said before. What did you say? It seems that I don't really understand you. You are far more hidden and ambitious. Can I take it as a compliment to me? Up to you. With Ye Jinghui scheming, it will be effortless to crush Ku Yancheng. Why did he manage to kill Ku Yancheng after fighting for so long in a previous life? Are you happy? What? You're going to be the second shareholder in the Gu Group. You you plan to give up this position to me? Why? Now is clearly a good opportunity for expansion. Why would you give up this position to me? It doesn't make sense. My silly girl. Of course, it makes sense. Only by personally destroying everything Gu Yansheng values can you break free from the nightmares of the past. And granting your wish is the meaning behind everything I do. Trust me. It will happen soon. After all this is finished, I also hope you may reconsider our relationship. Then, then let's play it by ear. In order to maintain the normal operation of Kus, pillar industry of this quarter, I think it's more appropriate for the Ant Group to have control over the electronic product research sector. What do you think, Mr. Ku? If the contract is torn, tens of hundreds of copies can be made. But if the Ku Group misses this round of financing, its market value will continue to shrink significantly, bringing it closer to bankruptcy. Anwar, 
I really underestimated you before. I'm not the only one you underestimated. I've always had a question, Ye Jinghui. He's not the type you like. So why did you break off the engagement because of him? Do you believe in fate? In the previous cycle, I and everything I cherished was buried by your wild ambition. I just come back from the gate of hell with only one thought in mind: revenge. I preferred. Those are just your own fantasies. Whether or not they are my fantasies, you should know it better than me. How about Ye Jinghui? Do you think Ye Jinghui is your redemption? Do you know how many incest stories are behind him? I insist that I can see it with my own eyes. See? Can you see it? He looks cynical and acts like a playboy. His strong assets have made him become a member of aristocratic family. Do you think everything you do now can help him? Don't be ridiculous. For him, you're just a clown jumping around. Unfortunately, it's only now that I see his true colors. He's been manipulating us like pawns. And I foolishly took him as a target to challenge. That's why I ended up losing miserably. I think this is the difference between you and him. Your power brings destruction and sacrifice, while his power is only to protect the people and rules he cares about. He's never been someone who would do anything to achieve his goal. The so-called deliberate concealment. I think it's just because his disdains to take you as his rival. He's just disguising in that way. If he didn't want to hurt me, what is my hand worth? What is the current situation for good family matter? It's all your own doing. I know, I know. You will regret it once you step out of that door. You will definitely know his true features. The Gu family won't last much longer. There's a message from the Di Du. They want us to accelerate the takeover. The Gu family is not a big fish. It's a testless. I don't have to do it myself, boss. You don't have to hide anything from me. Even if all the Gu family's assets are left to my sister-in-law, do you think that the alliance of these powerful families that can now live up to their peak in Qing City can compete with the aristocratic family of the Di Du? Ye Jinghui, I heard everything just now. As they stand, let's divorce. What's the matter? After being heartbroken by a scumbag, you don't trust the man anymore. Jin Jiang said it himself. You will have a do against Jing City family. I cannot stay out of it. No, no. Many things can't be seen from just one perspective. I'm also a member of the Jing City families. A merger may be an opportunity for development. Do not mention divorce again. It is truly hurtful. My dear President An, taking over Gu's electrical appliances project is a great achievement. Why do you still look sad, Gigi? Why would you say a man doesn't want to divorce his wife? Oh, you mean you and Ye Jinghui? He won't divorce you because he likes you, of course. Like? He likes me? But he never said so. Some people just aren't good at expressing themselves. But everyone in Jing City knows about Ye Jinghui's feeling for you. Let alone the scandal in his natural way. It was quite a spectacle. He even stopped socializing in KTV. He changed his Playboy image, and there haven't been a rumor of a love affair. It can be considered a prodigal turnaround. Run, man! You're a classic case of not knowing how good you have it. But he kept a lot of things from me. That's normal, isn't it? Everyone has their own personal space. As long as he didn't make fundamental mistakes and didn't tell you, so be it. 
but I feel like I'm being deceived. Did you ask him? That's it. You didn't even ask him. How do you know he was hiding something from you? If you had asked him, maybe he would have told you already. I think it's time to find a chance to talk to him. That's right. Be quiet and come with us. Why our guests from Didu have arrived to meet them here in a conference room or a nice tea house outside? Let's just do it here. Okay. Those in attendance are people of high authority. You must be careful. Hello? So, you're not angry with me anymore? I'll go, I'll go. Please, stay cool. I'm a lot of biting citizen. You got the wrong person. Shut up! We're looking for you. You wanna run? What's wrong? Who are you? What do you want from me? I'm the president of the Ann group, wife of the president of the Ye group. Do you dare to touch me? You wanna die? Ouch! Forgive me, Mr. Go, I'm making you let me go. I swear, I'll never deviate Ching Huai off. I'm begging you, let me go. Kuyan <laughs> Chung. You heard it all. I didn't know anything about it. You know, what I hate the most in my life are those who betray me. Drag her out, fear her to dogs. Yes, sir. I once thought he had been cruel enough to me in the past life, but now he seems to be a total monster with no humanity at all. To defense myself, he even killed An Xiao with his own hands. Well, you said. You trust the Yi Jinghuai all the time, huh? Didn't you? Fine. Today, let me show you whether he's truly worthy of your trust. Well, I haven't taken a picture with you in a long time. What do you want? Nothing. You must be familiar with this place. This is where the son of Bitch Qingjiang cut my finger off. Kuyansheng, what the hell do you want? You come over alone. Don't say I didn't warn you. I've planted bombs all around here. If you are bring any company, I'll cut your beloved woman's fingers and toes off, one by one. Be reasonable. Don't hurt her. I'm coming now. Gathered a man, all of them, surrounded this place. Fire your weapons when necessary. Remember, keep unknown safe. Okay. Be careful, Ah Huai. Gu Yanshe. Why did you involve a woman in a matter between men? 
I'm here. Let her go. Can't believe you really came. Yi Jinghuai, you're worth billions now. Since you're here, why leave? Let's die together here. Let's die together here. You're too cheap to drag me down with you. I'll say it again. Let her go. Zhe Yanzhen, stop your madness. Turn around and find a way out of this. Don't interfere in my affairs. There's no way for me to turn back. It's you who got me where I am today. You know what I want now? To chop you into pieces. Gu Yanzhen, are you still a man? I'm here alone. Let her go. Okay. Are you okay? No, no. You should leave first. I'm right behind you. No, I'm not leaving. You only hinder me by staying here. Go. If you don't leave, I'll regret it. Go now. Let's talk, man to man. What terms? It's too late for me to make a deal. You don't want to leave, and you don't care about your parents anymore. So stop lying to me. You already sent them abroad long ago, and you're never gonna find them. A small town in California. It's not difficult to find. What did you do to them? As long as I'm alive, no one's going to trouble them. But if I die, that's hard to say. Are you threatening me? You're threatening me again. You know what I hate most about you? It's your face. Do you know? I want to cut you to pieces. Once a person dies, they have nothing left. Are you really waiting to accept that? I said it's worth it that I have you with me. It's been a long trip. Let's sit somewhere and talk. Sister-in-law, I know you're worried about Huai, but the bombs inside are all real. Not only will you not save Huai, you will also risk your own life. So I'm just gonna let him die? Don't you have a lot of powers? You go save him! Sister-in-law, I am a human, not a god. There's no way to get anyone else in a confined environment like this. How the hell can we save him? You tell me, how can we save him? We can only wait, sister-in-law. Sister-in-law, I know you have your concerns. Why doesn't have a lot of secrets? But he wasn't trying to hide anything, you know. He's just waiting for you to ask him. <laughs> it's all my fault. It's my self-righteousness. I betray his sincerity. If I have another chance, I will. Ye Jinghuai, Ye Jinghuai, have you come out? Ye Jinghuai. Why? Why you die in there, sister-in-law? Sister-in-law, why? Sister-in-law. Why, sister-in-law, I'm gonna go get the car. Give a minute. Why is in your hands, sister-in-law? Wait for me. Don't cry. It's not your time to be a widow. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, sorry. I should have known you had other injuries. Does it hurt? A little. Let me blow on it for you. 
Now it doesn't hurt here. It's here. Blowing alone is not enough. You also need to kiss it. Now it doesn't hurt anymore because I know someone will care for me. Why is making a good move? I'll learn from it in the future. Honey, what are you doing? Birthday cake. You made it for me. Besides you, who else can make this young master cook? Is it good looking? Is it good looking? If you dare say it doesn't look good, I won't let you get out of bed tonight. Although it doesn't fit the popular aesthetic, I would call it one of the most precious cakes I've ever eaten in my life. My nuan, your birthday is tomorrow. Yeah. Why? Don't you remember the promise you made to my mom? Ah.、Uh -huh. Tomorrow, we'll have to start the baby making program. I didn't see you take a break, even when the program wasn't on. You know what? The first time I saw you, I had already thought of our child's name. If it's a boy, it will be Ye Nian'an. If it's a girl, it will be Ye Nian'an. Ye Jinghui, I always thought whether you had a plan to take me away from the wedding in advance. Otherwise, why do I have an illusion of falling into your trap? It's not an illusion. I've loved you longer than you've known me.